Tell us what we want to see when I cut this egg open. The yolk should still be stable and just cook through. Five minutes to go. Let's cut the lamb. That's overcooked. With the lamb. Mm -hmm. That's quite a big mould, Dals. Let's just do three. Okay. We're out of time. I've got to cut the lamb, pray it's fine, and then finish plating it. Ellis, 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 Ellis. <laughs> it's beautiful, love. Oh, you've done so well. Just two minutes to go. Two dishes, plate it up in less than two minutes. Come on, guys. Wrap it up, guys. Let's go. Two minutes ready. Oh, my God, that looks Got great. It. Come on, mate. We can do this. You looking all right? Oh, it's perfect. Good. Yeah, it's, it's stunning. It's stunning. 89 minutes gone. You have one minute remaining. The lamb, it's cooked beautifully. It looks really good. And now I've got to tie all the rest of the elements together. It's not going to sit. What do you want to do? Sort of three and three? Yeah. Get the gel. I think more of these. Let's go hard. Well done. Well done, buddy. That was mad. That looks good. That looks really good. Mm, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you want to try one? Yeah, please. Yes, sir. Okay, ready? I have the bone. Try <laughs> it. Try a piece of me. Oh, that's good. That's so juicy. I love it. I think it's, and it tastes so good. So I think we're in really for a shot here. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Very, very happy. Very, very, very happy. Last challenge, we sort of realised that. We both think it, but don't say it. Um, so yeah, but now thought it, said it, and nailed it. Of course, want to be in that top spot, but yeah, we've, we've given it our best today, and if it is enough, then it's enough. Today has been all about great produce and great teamwork. You've had 90 minutes to create two dishes. At least one of them had to have lamb as the hero. Red team, Rudy, Naomi, come on up. Let's see how you're going. I'm feeling a lot more confident than what I did in the last challenge. But I'm nervous, because all I'm thinking about is my leaning tower of meats. <laughs> I would like to have that immunity just once. <laughs> Please, just once. <laughs> the competition is stiff, and there are some really good pairings of contestants today. So it always plays in the back of your mind as to whether you really have done enough. Rudy, talk us through what you guys have finished for us. Naomi today did lamb ribs that has a spicy and sweet rub to it. She's then smoked the hummus and served that with a beautiful pickle and a green oil. I've done a rolled lamb loin, which I've pan fried with honey and mustard. We've got Jerusalem artichoke and beets three ways, and that's finished with a lamb jus. Okay, so you've taken one dish each, yeah. basically. I am a big fan of lamb ribs. I reckon they're one of the most underrated cuts of meat used. Oh, they look nice and sticky and glazed on the outside. And we've got these little crispy potato chips. Mm. Yeah. You know me, you're the only one that went for the special potatoes in my potato patch. Oh. And you've done a really good job of them. They're so nice and crispy. And how beautiful are they? They're like pink. They're quite beautiful. Oh. They taste so great. So beautiful and they taste so good. I'm chuffed to have used her potatoes, her produce, and bring that to her to try. Well, the way that I've cooked it. So now we're moving on to Rudy's main. Oh, there's some elderberries on top, some of the fresh elderberries. When we were in the butchery, having you talk us through how you would produce a rolled lamb loin really inspired me and I thought I had to give that a go today. I hope since I gave you that advice, it turns out all right. 
I desperately want to please the judges today, in particular Vaughan. I really wanted to knock it out the park, so I'm watching for any cues that shows that they're happy with what I've put forward. Let's start with the entree. One word, banging. Real banging. That's my type of food. It's just like not fussy, super tasty. The smokiness and the puree, the punch of the pickle, it had like so much acidity, which goes so well when you've got lamb ribs because they've got a lot of fat with them. The lamb ribs were sticky and glazy and juicy and delicious. Those ribs are really tasty. You got heaps of cool elements. They all come together. It's a very, very yummy dish. The smoky hummus was fantastic. I liked the balance of the acidity that that pickle brought. It actually, it was my favorite part of that dish. Great job. Rudy, I liked the lamb in that you were really adventurous. My favorite part was the Jerusalem artichoke. The beetroot for me was probably cooked just a little bit under. I found it really chewy and hard. And the sauce for me was just a touch too sweet. But all in all, it was a really good effort. Rudy, I like the technique that you've used with the lamb. The flavours were tasty. I actually quite liked your lamb jus. I think that's one of the better sauces that you've made in this competition so far. Rudy, that dish for me, it lacks a lot of balance. It was a little bit overpowering, the honey for me. I liked how you rolled the lamb. It was a little bit kind of too much heat and not enough time. So there was too much heat on the skin but it wasn't rendered enough. You kind of got to go really low and slow when you do that technique, when you wrap that fat around a saddle. But one problem also I have is like, you're doing an appetizer in a main, you got two mains here. You're on a farm, you got all these fresh vegetables, and we're starting out with the bagunia of massive like caveman ribs. And then you go into a roast, it's like, I think teamwork is the ability to have a conversation and sort out the elements that you're gonna do on a menu. Thanks guys. Trying to cook what I believe the judges want to see is simply not working. I need to add some technical complexity and differences in the way I plate in order to impress the judges. Lime time, Sam and Jason. So we wanted to share and plate food that represented the beautiful biodiversity of the farm. So for the entree, we have salt baked Jerusalem artichoke on the base with an onsen egg, some root vegetables and tomatoes underneath the leafy green salad and a chimichurri on the side. So almost like a egg salad. For the main, we've got a beautifully medium rare lamb loin with a berry glaze. In the middle is a sunflower seed miso sauce We've got a salt-baked carrot and a soy-cooked bok choy with a lamb and onion jus on side. Tell us what we want to see when I cut this egg open. The yolk should still be stable and just cook through. All right, let's... Ah, nice. Is that what you were after? Yeah. Perfect. And this is really interesting that, like, the use of the Jerusalem artichoke that's really interesting. Personally, I haven't seen something like this before. No, Have you guys? Never. Salt baked Jerusalem artichoke. It's real interesting the way it's kind of smashed and loose and almost has this tapioca ish quality to it. It's a really cool technique. And we're going to try the main as well. The strap's cooked really, really good. I can tell by just looking at it. I'm really stoked to impress Vaughan. You know, he's had some mixed feedback for me over the time, so it's, it's really cool that, you know, getting those positive comments from him. The first dish, I have to admit, I really, really like it. The pickling element and the watermelon radish, it's absolutely delicious. It's a weird dish, don't get me wrong, it's something that I haven't really had before, but I would eat a whole bowl of that for lunch because it's like fresh, it's vibrant. The hero for the dish for me is just the use of the farm. And that's what this challenge was about. Farm to the table and you hit it on the nose. It's a bit of a strange and, and unusual dish in terms of how we've used things, but I think 
I, I think at this time of the competition, we need to be pushing the boat out and we need to be um, pushing the boundaries. You've thought really clearly about an entree and a main because this is so light and fresh and it's so full of vegetables. I love vegetables and you've really heard the vegetables and that beautiful egg, you know, the eggs from the farm, like the freshest eggs you can get. This is brave. This is a weird, slightly odd dish, but that's brave. I love it. You really pulled me in with this entree, those vibrant flavors. Everything needed to be there. That egg, that almost little, I'm gonna call it a risotto that you made out of that Jerusalem artichoke was, was truly outstanding. Now that lamb main course, I really loved everything on that plate from the bright carrot, the bok choy contrasting each other, the berries and that beautifully cooked lamb. Each little flavor was really well balanced, so great job guys. You know, the lamb, the flavour of the lamb is amazing with the glaze. The sauce is really punchy. Both dishes relate with each other and you've taken us on a journey around the farm. Main dish with your lamb backstrap is another great representation of the farm. The bok choy was lovely. That was probably my favourite part on the plate because again, you're just taking that extra little bit of care and attention to dress it, you know, instead of it just coming straight out of the, the boiling water, you actually took the time to dress it a bit. Um, I really like the elderberry glaze on the lamb. The only downfall for me was the miso was a bit salty. Good job, guys. At this stage in the competition, surprising the judges is actually really, really important. We've knocked it out of the park. <laughs> it, it just felt really good because I'm cooking honest food and it's healthy and just true to my cooking style.